Every day, first responders and investigators are faced with the danger of being exposed to fentanyl, a potent drug that can be lethal, even in very small amounts. This fentanyl epidemic is growing, posing greater threats to law enforcement officials. But now there is a new and reliable way to field test residues and substances for the presence of deadly fentanyl and other drugs, alerting first responders to the presence of fentanyl and to take any necessary precautions. The new drug swab surface test kit is the first and only fentanyl drug test kit that provides first responders and investigators with a fast and safe method for field testing of suspicious and potentially dangerous residues or substances like fentanyl. This instant five panel test kit detects the following drugs of abuse, cocaine, opiates, methamphetamines, including crystal meth and ecstasy, THC, the active compound in marijuana, and fentanyl. Before using the drug swab surface test kit, users should be familiar with their agency's policies and procedures when they may possibly be in the presence of fentanyl and to wear appropriate personal protection gear as specified in their agency's policies and procedures. Each drug swab test kit includes the test and a vial with buffer solution. Each kit is marked with an expiration date. Use of a kit that is expired may not give accurate results. There are two safe and easy ways to test residues and substances. To test suspected drug residues, wipe the suspected area with the collection pad by pushing both sides of the pad flat onto the surface. Lay the test on a flat surface and add 15 to 20 drops of the buffer solution onto the collection pad. Wait three to five minutes before reading results. To test suspicious substances, remove the cap from the large end of the buffer solution and place the suspected substance into the buffer vial. To test a pill, place a portion of the tablet into the vial. Replace the lid and shake for 15 to 30 seconds. Remove the cap on the smaller end of the vial and add 15 to 20 drops of the buffer solution onto the collection pad. After three to five minutes, read the results. Interpreting test results is easy. First, ensure that the test is performing properly by looking for the presence of a red colored control line on each strip in the control region marked C. If no red line appears next to either C, the test is invalid and should be discarded, and the operator should perform another test using a new test kit. Once the user has confirmed that the test is valid, read the test results. A red colored line observed next to each drug indicator in the test region indicates a presumptive negative test result. The color and density of the red line may vary in the control and test regions. As long as the line is visible, the test is negative for that drug. Test results are stable for up to 20 minutes. Results should not be interpreted after this time. If no line appears next to one or more drug indicators, the test is interpreted as a presumptive positive for that drug. Drug swab has identified the presence of that drug in the sample that was tested. If more than one line is missing, drug swab has identified the presence of multiple drugs. The drug residue surface test provides qualitative preliminary results, which only indicates the presumptive presence of the drug in a residue or substance. It does not measure drug levels. It is not possible to determine the amount of drug present in the sample, only the possible presence of the drug. Drug swab is intended for use as a preliminary screening test and is not intended for use as an evidential test. If drug swab identifies the presence of drugs and evidential results are required, have the sample tested by a laboratory to confirm results. Fast, safe, and reliable. Get the drug swab drug testing kit and start protecting your first responder teams today.